Hi, in this video I'm going to talk to you about something called Motional EMF. It's another application of Faraday's Law. So what I want you to consider right now is a magnetic field like the one shown in the picture that points into the page. And in the region of the magnetic field we have a bar that is slide. this bar is sliding along conducting rails which are connected by a resistor. And what we want to find out is what is the current developed in the circuit. Now, first you may ask yourself, well, why is there current developed in the circuit? Because this bar is sliding to the right through this magnetic field. Well, if you look at this area right here, between the bar and the rails and the resistor, that area is increasing as the bar slides to the right. So therefore, there's a magnetic field through an area and the area is increasing, so therefore we have an increasing flux. And when you have an increasing flux, you have an induced EMF, and if you have a closed loop, you have an induced current. So let's start with Faraday's Law and calculate the induced EMF and the induced current in this bar sliding to the right in this magnetic field directed into the page. So we are going to assign a value L to the length of the bar and the distance between the rails and the bar is moving with speed V to the right the magnetic field has strength B and the resistance is resistance R. So Faraday's law states that the EMF is minus N times the rate of change of flux with respect to time, where the flux is equal to the magnetic field times the area times the cosine of the angle between the area vector and the magnetic field. In this case, since the area vector points into the page and the magnetic field points into the page, theta is zero degrees and cosine of theta is one. So in this case, and, oh, also in this case, we only have one loop. So n equals one loop. So we can write the EMF as minus delta flux over delta t which is minus delta magnetic field times area over time. So in this case we have a constant magnetic field. It is not changing in time. So what's changing in the flux is really the area. As the bar moves to the right, so let's say it moves over a little bit, I have added an additional area A and so my area has increased and so therefore I can write minus magnetic field is constant times the rate of change of the area with respect to time. Now how do we calculate the rate of change of area with respect to time? Well the extra area that has been added is in this space right here. And the yellow space here has a height L, which is equal to the length of the bar. And let's say that it has moved over a distance delta x to the right. The additional area, delta A, is base times height, or in this case, delta x times L. So let's substitute that into our expression. Minus B times delta area delta x times L divided by delta T. Now what I want you to consider is this expression right here. What is delta x over delta T? Well in this case, actually always, delta x over delta T, the distance over the time, is the speed at which the bar is moving, V. So I can substitute B times V times L for the EMF in the moving inductor, moving conductor, I should say. 
Next, we want to think about what is the direction of the current in this particular loop as the bar slides to the right. So first, I'm going to get rid of some of, why is this, there we go, some of the extra stuff on here to make this clearer. What we have is a flux into the page because the magnetic field is pointing into the page. So the flux is into the page and the flux is increasing. Therefore, according to Lenz's law, in order to oppose the increasing flux, the current that is produced will create a magnetic field that is out of the page. So the induced magnetic field will be out of the page. So if you hold your hand over the picture with your thumb right over the loop, right over this area right here, point your thumb out of the page, you will see that according to the right hand rule, the current must be going counterclockwise around the loop and thus downward through the resistor as is shown in the picture. So according to the right hand rule, the current that is inducing this magnetic field out of the page is counterclockwise or downward through the resistor as shown in the picture. So now we know the magnitude of the EMF induced and we know the direction of the current. Now let's calculate the magnitude of the current. According to Ohm's law, the magnitude of the, we have voltage equals current times resistance. The voltage is basically the magnitude of the EMF. The minus sign is from Lenz's law and says that the EMF is opposite the cause that produced it. So when we're calculating with Ohm's law, we don't need to worry about the minus sign. So the EMF is B times V, the speed, times L, the length of the bar that's moving. So EMF equals current times resistance. So that's B times V times L is equal to current times the resistance. So therefore the current in this circuit is B times V times L over the resistance. So that's how you calculate the current in a loop where you, you have basically an expanding loop. You have a U-shaped rail, you have a bar sliding to the right with speed V, length L, you have resistance R in the circuit, and this would be the current, if the magnetic field is into the page, the current would be going around in a counterclockwise direction.